Hi guys, and welcome to the first teaching video in Physics 1.4, the external standard on waves. So this video is going to cover what exactly a wave is, some different types of waves, how waves are made, the difference between transverse and longitudinal waves, and we're going to talk about what mediums are and how the speed of different waves change between mediums. So to start off with, we've got to think about what exactly a wave is. The most common waves we see are the ones in water. A wave can be thought of as a disturbance that can travel from one location to another. So in this example, the waves are on the ocean and there's a rubber duck sitting on one of the waves. We can see that the waves travel from one location to the other. In this case, they're traveling towards us. Another important thing about waves is that they transfer energy, but they don't actually transfer any matter. In this case, the matter we're talking about is the water itself. So although the ocean waves are traveling towards us, if we look at the individual drops of water in the ocean, they're not actually moving from A to B. They're staying in the same place. The thing that's transferred from A to B is the energy of the wave. So in this example, if we put a rubber duck on one of the waves and looked at how it moved, we would notice it going up and down. It wouldn't actually travel towards us. This is because matter is not transferred from A to B in a wave. It's just the energy. A wave often travels through what we call a medium, and a medium is just the material or stuff that carries the wave. In this case, the medium is water, but mediums can be all sorts of things, such as air, glass, or metal. So now we're going to look at the different types of waves, and there are two main types we want you to know. The first are mechanical waves. The waves we see in the ocean, in water, are mechanical waves. Sound is also a type of mechanical wave. The one defining thing about mechanical waves is that they need to travel through a medium such as water or air. They can't travel without a medium, such as through the vacuum in space. The other type of wave is electromagnetic waves. Light is a type of an electromagnetic wave. Microwaves and radio waves are also types of electromagnetic waves. Unlike mechanical waves, electromagnetic waves don't have to have a medium to travel. Electromagnetic waves are able to travel through a vacuum, and this is why we can see the light from the sun, because it's able to travel through the vacuum of space to reach the Earth. So how exactly are waves made? In this example, a pebble or a stone has been dropped in the water, causing ripples. It's the pebble being dropped in the water that disturbs the water. And remember, in this example, the water is the medium. So we have to have something that disturbs the medium. The pebble being dropped in the water causes the water to move up and down, creating peaks and troughs, which we see as ripples. A guitar generates sound by the string being plucked, and the vibration of the string disturbs the air molecules around it. And in this case, air is the medium for sound. So the disturbance of these air molecules can travel through air and create a sound wave. A different way of categorizing waves is into transverse and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves are the ones we see in the ocean or the ripples in water when a pebble is dropped. If the direction in which the medium is moving is at right angles to the direction that the wave is moving, then we call this a transverse wave. So in this example, the ripples are traveling horizontally across the water outwards from where the pebble is dropped in. That's the direction of the wave. But when the pebble is dropped in the water, the direction of the movement of the medium, so the water, is actually vertically up and down. So the vertical up and down movement of the medium is at right angles to the horizontal movement of the wave. So this is a transverse wave. So to figure out if something is a transverse wave, think about the direction of the wave, in this case outwards, Think about the direction of the medium movement, which is up and down, vertical, and if these are at right angles, then it's a transverse wave. The other category of waves is longitudinal waves. Sound is an example of a longitudinal wave, and here we have a teacher yelling, creating a sound wave. When the movement of the medium, in this case air, is parallel to the movement of the wave, then the wave is longitudinal. So here we have a teacher yelling, and this disturbs the air molecules around her mouth. These move back and forth in a horizontal direction, like this causing a series of compressions which can travel in this direction away from her mouth. In this case, the medium is air. If we look at the movement of the medium, this is horizontally back and forth. If we look at the direction of the wave, in this case the sound wave, it's moving directly away from her mouth. These two directions are parallel to each other, so sound is a longitudinal wave, and it looks like this. So here's a quick comparison of transverse and longitudinal waves. Remember, Transverse is when the direction of the movement of the medium at right angles to the direction of the movement of the wave. And an example of a transverse wave is light. A longitudinal wave is when the direction of the movement of the medium is parallel to the direction of the movement of the wave. And an example of a longitudinal wave is sound. So how fast do waves actually travel? You might have heard about the speed of light, which is supposed to be the fastest measurable speed that we know of. The value for the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. But this value is specific to when light travels in a vacuum, when there's no matter, such as in space. In a vacuum, when there's no matter, 
only electromagnetic waves can travel, because mechanical waves need a medium to travel, and this doesn't exist when there's a vacuum. All electromagnetic waves travel in a vacuum at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So this value isn't actually just for light, it's for all electromagnetic waves in a vacuum. This value is worth remembering as you might need to do a calculation with it in the exam. If we compare the speed of waves in a vacuum, so when there's no matter, to the speed in a medium, waves always travel slower in mediums. This is because in a medium there are molecules in the way, and these can slow the wave down. It might only be by a little bit, but it always means that waves travel slower in mediums than they do in vacuums. For a specific medium, such as air, a wave's speed is always the same. So if we take the speed of sound in air, if you yell or if you whisper, if you sing really high or really low, if you bang a drum or pluck the key on the piano, the speed is always going to be the same. However, a wave speed does change between mediums. So if you were talking in air and then moved underwater and tried to talk, the speed of the sound that was coming out of your mouth is different in water than it is in air. So for a specific medium, a wave speed is always going to be the same. But if the medium changes, then the wave speed changes too. So here's what you need to know in this video. Firstly, we looked at what a wave is, and this is just a disturbance that travels from A to B, that transfers energy, but not matter. Then we looked at the two types of wave, mechanical, which needs a medium to travel through, and electromagnetic, which doesn't need a medium to travel through. We looked at how waves are made, so how the medium has to be disturbed in a particular way. Then we looked at transverse and longitudinal waves. And for transverse waves, the medium movement and the wave movement are at right angles, and for longitudinal waves, the medium's movement and the wave's movement are parallel. Then we looked at how speed changes between mediums. The speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum, including light, is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. The speed of a wave is constant in the same medium, such as air, but the speed changes between mediums. So if it changed from traveling through air to traveling in water, then the speed of the wave would change. 